Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.4 is all about different rules to do with exponents and how those rules impact exponential functions. So for this video, we will learn four properties. We'll go in order and start with the first one, the product property, which says that b to the m multiplied by b to the n is equal to b to the m plus n. So what to take from this is that if you multiply two values with an exponent that have the same base, or b, then you are really just adding their exponents. To explain this one on a graph, we'll start with the parent function y equals 2 to the power of x. If we change this to y equals 2 to the power of x minus 1, we see the whole graph shift to the right by 1, making adding or subtracting anything from the x a horizontal translation of the graph. The second property is the power property, which says that b to the m to the power of n is equal to b to the mn, meaning if you have double exponents, you are simply multiplying the exponents together. What this does to a graph is it functions as being the stretch or shrink value to the graph, meaning it is the horizontal dilation. Students sometimes are confused how to sketch a graph that has dilations. My advice is to simply make a table and graph that information to make it easiest. But anyway, the next two properties move away from graphs. The first one is the negative exponent property, which states that b to the negative n power equals 1 over b to the n. This means that if you ever have a negative exponent, it is simply equal to 1 over the original term removing the negative sign on the exponent. Finally, we have the last property, which doesn't really have a name, so for our cases, we're just going to call it the exponent root property. It states the following, b to the 1 over k is equal to the kth root of b. This means that if you ever have a power that is 1 over something, it's really asking you to do what the denominator's root of the function is. So for example, this equation is really asking what the third root of 8 is, which is 2. And that is really all for this one. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. I'll see you in the next one.